All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Gadget Radar. I am your host, James. We are going to be going over five gadgets to see if they are good or bad to spice up the kitchen game. You guys ever tried cutting onions before? You just start tearing up, like, randomly? I'm calling these cry blockers because you put these on, it solves your problem. You got a big knife, make sure to not cut yourself. Ah, keep cutting here. Woo, it's blocking all of it. It's actually working pretty good. I'll put my face right in it. Nothing, yeah, nothing. And actually, I don't know, the crew, does this look cool on me? Like, these, these glasses look pretty cool, I mean, yeah. Wow, where'd you get those glasses? Can I, can I buy those, some, uh, those prescription? I think it look pretty sexy sometimes cooking in the kitchen anyway, so. You know, whenever I have a girl over and I'm cooking for her, you know, she just might think I'm even extra sexier in these things. Whipping up some, whipping up some good food in the kitchen. And one thing that's not sexy, can you guys guess? Crying, right? You gotta be the stand-up guy. You gotta be the alpha male in the house. You gotta take care of business. You cook for your woman, and guess what? You have these cry blockers on, so that way you're not crying either. And you take care of business, you cook the food up, boom. You score major points with your girl. Review time. I was skeptical at first, but honestly, uh, I think everybody's been where I am, where you are crying while you're cooking onions. So I am gonna give these a 10, because why not? You know what? I even got my face right into the onions. They didn't even shed one tear. What is this? It's a silicone bowl. Okay, now this is a lid right here. Now this pops out like that into a bowl. Look at that. This is, this is a much healthier option, right, for microwaving your popcorn. Because first of all, you have silicone that you're microwaving in instead of plastic. You don't want to ever microwave anything in plastic because plastic, there's a lot of chemicals that are being released in your food when you do that. Don't want to do that. Also, too, this is a much healthier option than just the ready-made stuff that's in the bag because you know a lot of that's got just artificial uh, you know butter in there and just all kinds of nasty ingredients and stuff that's just not healthy at all see the kernels so I'm gonna go ahead and put this bad boy in the microwave and we're gonna come back and see how it tastes Ooh, look at all that steam coming out of there Ooh, look at that beautiful popcorn it actually did a very good job of popping the corn I must say let's give it a taste Mm, pretty good. See the difference between this and that store-bought, you know, bag of popcorn that's just got that outer layer of like artificial butter on the side of the bag. And all right, review time. I will say on this gadget, I will give it a 10 out of 10. This has actually become one of my favorites now because it's so nifty. It folds right down. And you can put it away. You can fold right into a big bowl and it's just cleaner, it's healthier for all you folks that are out there that's like me and looking for healthier options, this is gonna be one of the best things out there for you, especially with popcorn. This is a much healthier option to cook up your ramen noodles. It's gonna taste so much better. Sauce packet in here for the soup base. And we're just gonna go ahead and put it in here and let it steam itself up and cook up. And we're gonna check back with this in T minus two minutes. All right, let's give it a shot. Really good. Yeah, I feel like this holds in the flavor much better versus the microwave version. And plus it's healthier. You know, you don't have that like musty feeling, you know, when you microwave something. This is just, it's got the clean hot water on there and it gives you the same exact result, actually better. So one other cool, awesome thing about this little gadget contraption is that you can actually take this part out. And if you want to separate the noodles from the soup, you can do that. Just by pulling this out, putting it in here like that, boom. I would say, if you're a ramen lover and you know you're a college student, struggling actor, anything like that, you know, you're on a budget, 
I would give this 10 out of 10. Next gadget, guys. Next gadget that we're reviewing here is breakfast sandwich maker. So we're gonna start with the bottom of the McMuffin. Put it in there like that. We're gonna put the meat in there, whichever meat of your choice. Now what we're gonna do is put this little guy down like that. Boom, there you go. Boom, perfect. Boom. Yeah, put that on top there like that. So first thing we wanna do is so we can collapse it all together is slide this over like that. Boom, boom. And there we go. Slide it over on your plate. For the final test, we're gonna do a taste test. Mmm, smells good. Look at all that steam coming out of there. So if you like hot stuff, that is definitely gonna be hot for you. Look at all that. But I don't wanna burn my mouth. Really good. An extra crunchiness too as well because you have the burner on the bottom and the burner on the top. And if you look on the inside, with the egg, you can see the egg is cooked perfect. That is beautiful, beautiful egg. Yeah, this is a very, very good gadget. So, I mean, it only took like three, four minutes to cook. I mean, a little bit longer than a microwave, maybe like another minute longer or two than a microwave. And it's much healthier than a microwave, obviously. And it tastes so much better. So, yep, 10 out of 10 stars, guys. All right, folks, now we're gonna look at the final gadget of the day. Stay with us. All right, folks, we're looking at the final gadget now. So this little puppy right here. And to be technical, this is considered a vertical soap dispenser. You see these little holes, it's got four little holes, like a diamond shaped, and it's got a pump at the bottom. Watch this, look at that, see? And it just comes right out. So all you gotta do is just boom, get a little, get a little bump, a little push. And as you can see, you got a perfect amount of little soap on the bottom. Now you can start cleaning up. Treat this as our mock-up kitchen here. This will be like our faucet. We're gonna run, run the water over it, give us some suds going here. And look at that, we got suds already. We got suds for days. So now, like let's say we're cleaning the bowl up, we're cleaning this bowl up. You got all kinds of suds there. It gives you the perfect amount of soap, which is usually a dime's worth of soap. This is the amount of soap you wanna use for when you're cleaning up stuff. So it's about a dime's worth it gives you. It gives you the perfect amount every time. Super easy, super clean. I would say this gadget is a cool little gadget, you know? I mean, it's super easy to use. It looks much better than those ugly plastic Dawn bottles and everything sitting on the sink. For those of you who like to keep things organized, you're gonna love this. And it also gives you the right amount of soap every time, so you're not wasting soap. I would give this a 10 out of 10. All right, folks, this wraps up for this episode of Gadget Radar. Make sure to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all of our gadgets that we are looking at. And I'll see you in the kitchen.